Hey, what's good everyone? It's Inu here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can improve your audio quality using your Android device. If you have a really bad audio quality, you definitely should consider fixing it and making it better. So with all being said, let's get started in this video. so the app that we are about to use called Lexus Audio Editor. Before we start this video, I just want to give a special shout out to Sirlois. He is the one who introduced me to this app. I have already made a video about Lexus Video Editor. So if you guys would like to see his video, I will link his video down in the description below. So when you open up Lexus Audio Editor, you will see this interface right over here. You can start recording a brand new audio using this red button right over here. Or if you already have recorded your audio using an external app, you can press on this open button and then it's going to show you all the audio on your library so that you can actually choose your audio that you are about to edit. Okay, so when you import your audio to Lexus Video Editor, you will see your two channels of the audio right over here. If you want to play the sample that you just imported to Lexus, you can press on this play button and you can hear the sample that you just imported. But now let's get to the effects that's going to make the audio quality better. All that you have to do is to press on those three buttons on the top right corner of the screen. And if you can't press on anything on this list, means that you have everything disabled. Don't worry, all you have to do is to press on this square button, which is going to pause your audio. After that, you should be able to press on the effects button. And as you can see, you have so many effects right over here. The first thing that we are about to do to our sample or our track is to remove the noise by pressing on this noise reduction button. Here, make sure that the noise reduction and the low pass filter are actually checked and then set up everything to 100%, but the rate to 40% and then hit apply. And just like this, we just eliminated the background noise from our audio which of course makes it so much better all right now go ahead to the amplifier and equalizer and press on it it should pop something like this so be sure that the pre-amplifier is actually checked and as you can see now this is the part of the video that i'm going to be asking you to basically copy and paste my settings so you see those different values right over here every single value is going to improve your voice or the audio overall and makes it so much better but there is no promises that those values values are actually gonna make your audio better those values definitely worked for me it's made my audio three times better but it really depends on the audio that you are editing it depends on the tune and the pitch of your voice so you guys should definitely mess around with those three values right over here to achieve the same audio quality that you are hearing right now So as I said definitely go ahead and change those values till you are happy with the audio quality that you are hearing hit apply and and right off the bat, you can actually see that those waves actually change. They have extended, which basically means we have a better audio quality right now. Okay, now go ahead and press on normalize. What's normalize gonna do to your audio, it's gonna make everything the exact same volume. Say you are actually talking with a low volume and suddenly you scream, it's gonna make every single thing sound as if it had the exact same volume. This is really good because you don't wanna e-rape the people that are watching the video. Okay. All right, so the last thing to do is to go ahead and save your audio quality. Good job, Sinu. Save your audio quality. Great. All right, so the last thing to do is to save your audio by pressing on this save button. And as you can see right over here, you need to make sure that this says .wav. If it doesn't, change it to .wav or .wav, I guess. And just like this, you're gonna end up having a better audio quality on the audio that you just edited, which actually shows that you don't really need to buy a high-end audio or a high-end microphone, sorry. I never used a high-end microphone on my videos. Uh, as I said in the last video, I am using actually a $5 microphone, which I will leave in the description below if you guys want to get it. And it just makes the audio quality so much better. As I said, the audio is really important thing. So definitely go ahead and improve it before uploading your video to YouTube. Um, and I guess that actually wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you find this video anyway, help, help, help. If you find this video helpful, be sure to go ahead and smash that like button down below. 
uh, let's go ahead and try to hit 500 likes if you guys didn't join me be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below thank you guys so much for joining me today and i'll see you guys next time peace out Thank <laughs> you.